everyone, it's Kim here from The Empty Bobbin in Port Dennis and Dongra. And today we're gonna to take you through making some beautiful um, attic windows using the Natalie Jane Parker panels. And I have with me my assistant, Yvonne. Hello. Hi, Yvonne. Hi. How are you going? So Yvonne is going to take us through um, and have a look. So the, the difference being that uh, this one that we've created here is a box window. So what, what's the difference with a box window and an attic window, Yvonne? Well, the box window is that it gives you the illusion of your looking into a box. So it, you're just making the box because we've got the seams here and it's giving you the illusion that that's a box. Okay, but today we're, we're going to show you how to create just an attic, attic window. window. So with this particular panel here, this is a true attic window? This is a true attic window. This is just a normal panel and it, it, it's quite, um, if you, you've got to have a lot of uh, measuring, uh, working out where uh, to cut because if you can see with the dolphins you don't want to distort that the dolphins are coming out because uh, like cut them in half or cut their eyes off so we do have the um, classes down at the empty bobbin to come and create uh, attic windows and see how we've got the turtle we may have got a little bit of the eye there but we've got mainly the face there so you are looking through the window, window. with the attic windows that I do is no Y seam. So it's quite a simple process and uh, other people that have come, they've enjoyed the classes. But this one here is just gorgeous, I love it. So mm. we've got, um, these are the beautiful Natalie Jane Parker wildlife planet panels. We've got a few kits available here. And then we've also got some of the new panels that have come in. So this is her second collection, which we can kit those up for you as well. Uh, to do so if you want one of those just message us through the website uh, but we will have the these ones that we're doing today um, on here so each of the squares in these packs have been pre-cut yes we just need to double check your measurements because there can be some a little bit of distortion mm -hmm. um, and then we have not cut the strips have we no no, no. because of, of movement and the way we uh, sometimes when you're doing your when I show you how to create that illusion of the attic window, you'll get a little bit of distortion. Um, but if we can start the process of what we've, yep. what we've done. All right, so the first, you've got three in, in the kit. So what we're going to do is just chain sew them across. So we're going to place ours and just Chain sew them across the so three obviously of them. right sides Absolutely. together. Yeah. Yes. So you, yeah. and then do you leave a little gap in between? A little gap in between, just so that you've any movement. So we chain sew those on yep. and then trim them. And trim them. Yep. And then press them. When you're doing attic windows, your iron is your best friend. Your best friend. Iron after every process. And this Yvonne is obviously the light colour in the window box That's as correct. well. Yep. So I've picked out. The, uh, the dark and the light and the gold, just to give it a little bit of bling. So the next process is after you've done those, is check your measurements to see that they are all the same size. All the same so size. So both width and height? Mainly the uh, width. Right. The width, you can check the height, it should be okay, but your width I would always check. Now, when you're making your uh, little uh, square, which is used to be a Y seam, it is a, these are cut at two inches wide. So you've got a little square, same color as your base. And they are pre-cut. They the are pre-cut. Yep. And you're going to press right in the center and you're going to press that. Along the diagonal, yeah. On the diagonal. Now with your, I have pre-done some, so this, this is how we're going to put it. If so I can, you, sorry, Yvonne, you cut this strip, this dark strip would be the length, the length, length yes. of the Now window. I'm just going to turn it round so I don't <clears> get confused. And that always goes on the same on side? On the same side. If you want your, looking at your attic window, you would have them here. You can do opposite, but I like, I prefer to have them here. The dark on the left mm -hmm. side. Yep. So what we want, we don't want that to go 
Hang on. We don't want that to go like that because that's not going to marry up with that. No. So we, we want that to be like that. Mm -hmm. All right? So we're going to place that on your seam and so from that corner to that corner and you'll follow that iron line and you will end up with this one with that so you can see the stitching and then you can get your scissors or your cutter and cut a quarter inch down there and you'll flip that over and once that's ironed down there is no Y seam and then you will place that like that and once you've ironed one I've already prepared and you've ironed your seam open I've um, ironed the seam open and, and that's, that that helps what does the just, open the open seam it just stops that bulk right right and then you will uh, once you've line that bottom up and you do your quarter inch seam quarter inch bring it over yeah and it should line up so even though it looks here when you line the yes. bottom up even though that is clearly not lined up there yeah, it will line up when once you've done you get your quarter in. inch so okay. now we'll go to one that is finished and there Beautiful. is it all sewn together all right so you can go across you can go across this way so you would have that like that and to really pronounce it you would have an inch in your kit you have your black uh, one inch strip and you can put those in between each one So you could create a long, a long panel one, or a, a a wide one, or a long, long one. Like one. We now, have as in well. your kits, you have enough to do the block or the box, what we call the box. So that what we've just done there is this side here, without this and without that. So there are enough strips though to create that on both yes. sides. So yes. you're getting two for the price of one. Absolutely. Bonus. Absolutely. So that's your attic window, a quick little process, but we do have classes down here and there's a, it's a little bit more intricate, but um, yeah, a lot of people really have some fun and you can create whatever you wish, baby photos, anything. Anything you can get mm. on fabric. So yep. um, we've chosen um, the Natalie Jane Parker wildlife panels to go in this kit mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. there are a few of the new panels available, so we'll make them available. Um, you can also, as Yvonne suggested, um, take the next step up, which is tackling a, a panel. But that obviously requires, depending on what the picture is, where you're going to cut them, because you're going to lose your quarter inch seam on each side of Absolutely. that strip as well. Yeah, so that's yeah. a, a little bit more technical. We might do a class on that one later on. Mm. So thank you for joining us. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Love to see some photos of your finished product and we'll see you next time.